And if you could pick the perfect team, who would be on it and what position would you play? Oh, the perfect team would be, of course, I got Jordan as my shooting guard. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with Larry Bird as my boss. Wow, forward. yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to go with um, Bill Russell as my center. All right. Yeah, because I'm going with the people that have winners. You know? Right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Winners and, and tough nose people. I would be the point guard. And of the course. Power forward would probably be Tim Duncan. Mm, yeah. Who would be your sixth man? Oh, my sixth man for sure would be. Um, that's a great question. Uh, because of his heart and ten tenacity, I would say Allen Iverson. You better say it. Yeah. You better talk so about why, it. Yeah, he would. But of course, you know, to be honest with you, I could be the sixth man on the team. Oh. <laughs> Tori Jack, look, I'm the sixth man, okay? Come off the bench with that squad. Yes! I like, um, my favorite point, one of my favorites is Isaiah Thomas. I love him. Like Isaiah Thomas, but that, that's, that's those five guys because of what they stood for. So, you know, of course, Jordan was the greatest. He didn't lose in the chain of finals, you know. Mm -hmm. but the rest of the guys, you know, just had that, that, that competitive level was so high, mm -hmm. you know, and they, they night in, night out. How do you feel about the Cavaliers and what went down? No, I feel like it was a great season for them. I know that they got the best player in the world, as he said, and he showed how he was the best player in the Bronx. Talk about but they it. They were shorthanded, you know, Kyrie yes. Irving going down, and Kevin Love going down, and, after, and Golden State Warriors deserved to win. Now, I, I wrote an article the other day about Jordan proclaiming to allegedly come back. Yeah. And he said the reason why um, all these players nowadays, like Rose and all of them, get hurt is because they're too busy trying to showboat instead of winning, being focused on winning. Mm. Do you agree with that? Uh, I wouldn't say that. No, not because I, I don't think Jordan would say that type of thing either. I he did. So. They quoted him. Yeah. He said I think that they he. he they, <laughs> I think because I don't see Jordan. No, saying, Jordan's arrogant, super he, he arrogant. He is very arrogant. Uh -huh. I would say, and he, he's very arrogant for himself. I don't, I don't right. see him talking about other people unless he in that era. Allegedly, era. they said Mayweather is is training him. Mayweather's training who? I'm Jordan. They said he's training him now. He, they, he what? said that. He, yes, I have to tag you to. Sure. No, yeah. I got it's this offline. Off yeah, yeah, offline. I know. Right. You know, it's a lot of websites. They said he was coming back. It's a lot of websites that, that put inaccurate information. Yes, and the reason why is because if we all click it, mm -hmm. they got sponsorship on that, Absolutely. and they get paid. That's what people per don't click. get. But per click, uh -huh. so if a million people click it, they right. get, say they get a cent off of it, ten cents off of it. People don't even know what I'm. I know. It's for True. sure that's a false article because okay. I've seen many articles that people it's always post saying he's coming say, back. Yes. And many articles about something else. They could say something um went wrong and everybody's clicking it because it's just a headline. What's the other guy that um is on that show with um uh, Shaq and Oh yeah, Kenny Smith. Uh, Not Kenny Charles Smith, Barkley. um Charles what's Barkley. the other guy? No no no. I think it's a um gosh, and it has the girl with them. His name is like Stephen something or another. Oh, Stephen um, A. Smith? Yes. Yeah. Um, he did an interview with Jordan and, and Jordan was like reminiscing and, yeah. and saying if he was playing now what would happen. Right. Um, and then I read that entire article and then it led to the other article that said Jordan may be coming back and he did a press release yeah. just stating two words, I'm back. Yeah, which was a lie. What could have meant joke. anything. Yeah. So it was a hoax, an internet a hoax. hoax. Yes. Okay. Which a lot of it is, um, I, we see that because we, you can make a spin, you can spin a, a story out of control with a headline. Right. With no substance in the article. Uh -huh. If you read the article, you'll see that they have a lot of funny inaccuracies in it that right. you know that. It's, you know, Joe, but Jordan's not going to. He's, Jordan's trying to focus on being an owner and winning as mm -hmm. an owner. That's, yes. See, Jordan's so competitive that he's won. He's as going a player, against his his old coach, Phil Phil, for uh, one of the players. I yeah, forgot sure. it's Kaminsky. Yeah, yeah. So they've been battling over that. Exactly. And Jordan is in a smaller market in Charlotte, and he wants to win. And if he pulls right. that off. 
you can't really say. But that's what they said. The reason why he was saying he he would come back and contribute to the team because he feels like he can take them all the way. Yeah, but that's just very to false. sell tickets. <laughs> It's, it's a false, false article. Yeah, it's a false article. I mean, 100% sure. Right. I know that. It's not, you can't at 50, as 50. You, yeah, no. right. You can only contribute by what, what you do, you know, as as the owner of the team. Right. Right now, you, you, know, you lost all the athleticism. Can he still play basketball? Yes. But at the level of the NBA, no. Right. Period. These young okay, youngins will run him up and down that court. As a player, but he's not. No way. And if he does try that, it's going to be. It, it, it's making a mockery then of, right. your, of your legacy. Right. Don't make a mockery of it. Just keep going and, and be the GM and president that you are of Charlotte Hornets and do the best job to try to win. That's all I would say. And right. as far as that comment, if they uh, just to get back to it, which I don't think Jordan said, anything they say, right. not D. Rosen and play too hard. You get hurt because you're playing at 100% all the time. You can get hurt. Your body right. is, you know, body is, 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 is something that can really go. How do you feel about Kobe and, and, and his whole situation what do you think is going to happen with that well as far as his last year playing mm -hmm. yeah Kobe's going to finish out the year and he's going to go off on the side said he made enough money he right. won five championships mm -hmm. Top father time is undefeated. Man. You know, people are getting older. Kobe's right. older now. He had a, like an 18, 19 year career. Yes. Come on, man. That's How a much long can you long. ask for at 18 years old becoming a man? Yes. I mean, I don't have no sort of. So who is who, who do you think, in your opinion, is the greatest of all time? The greatest of all time. All time. Interesting. Jordan. So you wouldn't say. Kobe or Bill Russell or no, I, I, I would say Bill Russell's the most winning, the, the best winner of all time. Okay. If you win 11 championships out of like 13 seasons, yeah. you're the best winner. You know, you're the, right. the number one guy, the most rings, everything that you want. Yes, the great. And then for me, uh, I've got to go with Jordan as far as the best player. Right. Okay. If if you could do everything all over again. What would you change and why? I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change anything. I, it's nothing that I could change. All I could do is grow from all the experiences that I had. You know, if you told me at nine years old, who would you want to be would you grow up to? Everybody say, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be a doctor. I actually studied to become law with the Holy Cross. I have a head on my shoulders. But to say that I went across the world and visited 40 different countries and counting and I'm 30 years old, that experience is only God given. It's only, it's only I'm blessed. So I wouldn't change nothing because I'm in a position to be, I'm in a position to be a well-rounded man, worldly, open-minded, understanding. I can communicate with different races. I can communicate with different cultures. I can eat the food. I can tell you what it's about. I can bring it home. My family knows where I am, and I can bring that to them. The kids know where I am. I can bring my experiences. So what would I change? I can only be me. I wouldn't even want to go back. Even the worst mistake that I made, I wouldn't. I I have to grow from it. Right, right. Okay, so what in life is most important to you? What in life? I would say um, my family. Like, the, what's most important to me is outside the, of basketball. Yeah, right. It would be my family. Um, and when I say family, I don't mean just blood related. I mean people that have showed me their true colors and character. I just want to be, what's important to me is being the most stand up guy I can. Not. My mom should never, she should, when somebody says my name, it should be a smile that's brought to your face. Not, oh, something happened and, you know, and, and you let people down. Right. Not being, not being a disappointment. Right. Was a, was a major motivation and factor that. You think that drives you? Yeah, that drives me to not to, to, to when you get a phone call mm -hmm. and you hear Tori Thomas's name, it's nothing but positive things. That's what I want is to fill my mother in them. Anybody can That's the legacy you want to leave thing, behind. Yeah, negative things and whatever the case. I'm not talking about putting the ball in the basket right. or, 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 or anything like that. I'm talking about a, a well-mannered adult. That's right. what I want. From a, from a young kid that was bad running the Ferris streets to a grown into a young um, adult that uh, can handle his own responsibilities mm -hmm. and be a, a stand-up guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're back to this question that I'm sure a lot of the ladies want to know. <laughs> if you are single, yeah. and if so, why? I'm single uh, because my lifestyle, my lifestyle, and I don't mean a lifestyle as in um, I want multiple women because they, they label a lot of sports players, basketball players, you know, on TV, a lot, you know, NBA players, and then I play overseas, so you you know you can 
travel the world, world and, and you can have multiple uh, right. there's women in every country there's right. beautiful women in every country there's women that love basketball in every country but right. why I'm single is because of myself I am about myself and work on myself so if you're, if you're selfish in that way where you need to work on yourself right. how can you give to another woman how can you give to a woman and be wholeheartedly committed right. I'm a big man I said, I'm a big person when it comes to doing something 100% mm. it's not when they say relationship is 50-50 no relationship is 100% and 100% you say it. if you're not giving 100% how can right. you expect somebody to give 100% to you Talk about and I'm not going to give 100% because I'm still working on myself so that's what I'm saying talk about it Tori <laughs> you better say that. it you know, and that's I really right I believe this because I have grown up in a, in a house with women I right. know what it takes to deal with a woman and right. understand it it's not easy this relationship stuff right. is not easy it really isn't it's, a, it's work all the time and I don't mean it in a negative way I no. mean it in a real way yeah. I mean it that it's, you it causes work. you to process you yourself and, yes. and, and have more you have patience to, yes, you and have patience you have to get away from yourself a little bit her talk problems about it. are your problems your mm -hmm. problems are her problems exactly so no matter if you don't want to now when you're in a relationship that's right. a respect the courtesy that you have right. so you know what it's a me eliminating that I'm going to travel more right. play basketball as I can play right. if a woman understands me and my right. lifestyle and what I bring to the table and supports that that's right because not only do I play basketball but I have a business mm. you know, I got a salon that I run and a brand I a brand that I run and there's people coming in all different angles right I need a woman that's strong right by me let me right. know Tori you might not want to deal with him Tori that's a person to deal with right if you can't build the empire with me right then we're going to sink so I need a woman that's on the same page as me right when it comes to building an empire right and that's what I want a strong woman some men are intimidated by that though right but I told you what I wanted straight up right so right no intimidation with that I want a strong woman. you better say it I heard right? that <laughs> Man, so I need a strong woman exactly. that's with that has thick no skin and, and knows how to deal yes. with. No intimidation because you know what? When you know what you want, no matter how much you, you know gonna get you it. Want, you go, you yes. And you know what? For me, like I go back to this, the plan is set out there. Right. I just gotta go and follow the plan. Gotta right. give a blueprint. I can't say I want a woman right now. You could you, know, you better say right? it. Right? Right. I, I can't you got I, things I that you want, but it's things that I gotta accomplish first. Goals, still goals. The goals. All these people. Okay, listen. Besides basketball, I actually have three more questions, and that's it. Besides basketball, what is your second love? I think I asked you that already. But what's your second favorite thing to do? Well, for me, it was football. Football, yes, right? Football was a major thing for me, and football developed the toughness that I have. You know? Right. You can't hit the concentration level for football big because you can really get hurt as a young kid. You can get hurt when they hit you. You got helmets, you got equipment. Oh, that's really, and that was my first. So that's what I, I, I played well at mm -hmm. early on in my career. And um, that's my second love, for sure. Right. Basketball overcame football. You know what I mean? Just the, the, the whole motions of it was great. And, you know, so much beauty in basketball. But football was my sport. And we, we played football. And that's what we did. So that was my, my second love when it comes to that, you know? That's dope. Okay, what advice can you give to all these, and a whole bunch of young men, I know for a fact, look up to you. What advice can you give these young men who wish to follow in your footsteps? You know what I can give them? Um, I can really say that um, the, the biggest thing is listening to your support system. You're really listening, and uh, most people don't understand that what they're doing for you is going to help you in the long run when they get on you, make sure listening, focus, enjoy, enjoy what you're doing. And have fun. Passion, when you have a passion for something, uh -huh. it's not work. Right. Passion is not work. So I would say, you know, really enjoy it. I say enjoy the competition. Right. You know what I mean? It's no pressure. Enjoy the competition. That's what I really believe in. And what I can say is that you got to make sure you're there and you, you understand that um, people are there to support you. Right. And you have no limitations. The only limitations are the ones you put on yourself. Talk about it. That's Talk what, about it. That's, that's what I say. And I wanted to also mention your book titled Aspire to Inspire, yes. right? Yes. And can you tell everyone where they can find your book? You, yeah. you did a whole nother restocking and reordering yes. of the book, right now, so which yeah. is good. You ran out. Yeah. <laughs> That's a yeah. good sign. <laughs> yeah, it's Hoff, H-A-W-F Publishing Group. Mm -hmm. So it's Hoff, H-A-W-F dot com. And the books that show up, mine is I Aspire to Inspire, uh, my basketball journey. But it's really a journey about my 
my childhood growing up on, in White Plains, New York, here in Ferris Avenue, and how I came from that small community all the way to playing overseas internationally for eight plus years now and still going. Okay. So, you know, I aspire to inspire at off at hawf.com. So it's off publishing group, and I'll have the, the books is available and they're going well. A lot of kids are reading them, a lot of adults are reading them. And I just want to, uh, I, I aspire to inspire as my motto. This is what I live by for my life. I aspire to inspire because I aspire my aspirations and to inspire others to show them there's no limitations. You just know whatever you want to do, you can do it. Do it. That's you do have it. a goal, set your goals down, write them down, and follow through. Check them things off. Right. So, do you have any future projects in the works also outside of this? Because you now added author yes. to your yes, resume. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's going to be executive producer. We're going to do a film. I want to do a film. It's That's gonna, awesome. We're going to do a film called Check the Scoreboard. And um, it's going to be a lot of different things about. Um, I better be a character, Tori. Yes. I better get a role. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Check the scoreboard we're working on. Um, I got my merchandise and going really of course. well. I got those, those shirts. With, Can you tell everybody where? Yes, it's that they be on GoTory.com. I'm developing the whole web store as we speak. So all of the different shirts that I have, my GoTory brand, and then the, the motivational shirts like, that I'm having That's as well. Dope. So my, my, my branding um, is coming together full circle. And um, I definitely just signed a deal to go play in Poland this year. So I'll be That's doing that. Oh. So yeah, you got the first. I just did it today. What? So I'll be going to play uh, um, this year in Poland for a Euro Challenge so team. Exciting. For a Euro team that will um, be playing um, and rode them right outside of the capital of Warsaw. Oh so my said, God. I was in Poland a few years ago, four years. So I'm actually coming back. Yeah. Four years ago, I was in Poland. So it, nobody even knows. So it's going to be a big surprise when they get it. I'm, I'm signing with them. I didn't, oh I didn't even God. announce anything yet. So yeah. Yeah. Look, listen, y'all, we got the exclusive. Yeah, so this will be nine, my ninth season of Bebel in Poland. That's crazy. For the year. So I'm excited. I'm excited to come back full circle. A, t a team that has aspirations to go to the finals. And, you know, who better to be the point guard for that team that has big aspirations. Right, right, right. That's awesome. Well, Tori, we thank you for your time. The interview was double awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys see me giving you the pound. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and we shall hear more from Tori. Again, his website is gotori.com. And thank you for an amazing interview. Thank you for having me. That's dope.